You're letting them into all your intimates. Yeah. Hey, it's Lo and Paige. This is Lipstick and Liquor. And today we are doing another Super Dupes and Dupe Disappointments. Um, so this is the segment where we take a couple of the dupes that we have found on Pinterest and Instagram and the interwebs and we let you know if we liked them or we didn't like them. Yeah. And uh, these products may work for us, but maybe they don't work for you. So just keep that in mind before you buy them. Vice versa. Some people will try something and it'll look amazing on their skin tone and be a total dupe and then I'll try it out and be like wah, wah. Okay, I'm going to start things off with the Primo dupe that people have been discovering and using for long, long time. Um, and this is one of those things where the dupe ended up being better than the original. Um, so this of course is the Real Techniques sponge. Look how adorbs that is. It's just a cute little, cute little spongy sponge. It's like a Pokemon. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know anything about pokies. Um, so this is of course a dupe for the Beauty Blender, which is like $28, $30. This guy's only $9, 10-ish dollars. And I really, really like this one because it has the pointy end, so this is great for getting all up in there. It also has the flat end, so this is amazing. More surface area. Amazing for like getting, that can see they're really padded in there. If you're using this for your foundation, just getting it just really all good up in there. I use this end for baking, so I get all the powder up in there and set it all. Um, it's just, it's the it's the OG dupe. It really is. It really is amazing. It really is. It's my game. I'm just gonna put that on my shoulder like a little, like a little parrot. Alright. <laughs> my first dupe, and these have been around for a long time. Mm. Um, now, preface. It didn't do what I thought it would, mm. but it still is an amazing product. Mm. This is the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Amber Rush Eyeshadow Pigment. Um, it comes in a little pot and it has like a little lid thing and then it's just like a pressed pigment oh. eyeshadow, but it's like loose too. Oh. You gotta kind of rub it. Oh, interesting. And um, it was supposed to be a dupe for the Stila foiled eyeshadows that come with a little bottle of liquid and then it like foils onto your eyes. That's like gorgeous. Sorry, I have to just... Yeah, it's a beautiful color. It works really well with blue eyes because it's that mm. coppery tone. Now, like I said, it doesn't do what the Stila foil stuff does, but it's still an amazing product. Um, I think these run about 11 bucks, but the Stila ones, or even the MAC pigments, are like close to 30 so yeah. great deal. So my next product is a lipstick. So the lipstick that I would like to talk to you about is the NYX lingerie lipstick that everybody is raving about and it is actually a really 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 great lipstick. Anything by NYX for lipstick is actually amazing. Sometimes I find that if I put too much on it'll get kind of like cakey, cakey and then I have to like wipe it off <laughs> from the inside of my lips and it's really really weird. Kind of gross, but this is in the shade Lace Detail, so it's a really, really nice nude. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's just a really nice nude. Um, it's quite light, so depending on your skin tone, it might not work. I'm pretty pale, so yeah, like I don't think I could wear that. Yeah, so it works for me, but it is a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood. That lipstick's gonna run you about $26. I got this one for nine at London Drugs. So I'm not using a beauty product for my second favorite because I just need to rave about this really, really hard. So about two months ago I had a face change where I went from being like a volcanic rock of dry face to this area became just like an oil slick field. And I don't know what happened. Um, second puberty, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, I got this new face wash because I was had run out of my Origins one, and this is a dupe for the Boschia. Bosch, Boschia? Boschia. Boschia. Um, Active Charcoal Face Cleanser. Now, they don't do the same things, but they're the same product pretty much. This one is menthol infused, Ooh. so it cools you off, nice. which I really like. And the Boschia one has heating properties. Oh. So it heats you up. 
but they have pretty much the same ingredients and you get almost double the product in this oh. one. This was $8 at Walmart and the Basquiat one is like almost 30 Okay, so since the beginning of time, I have been trying to find dupes for the Kylie Jenner lip kits, y'all know that. And I've been fi trying f to find one for Coco K. So I went on Pinterest and somebody said that the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Devotion was a dupe for it. And I was like, you know what? I absolutely love that lipstick by Revlon. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go and buy it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with what Coco K looks like, um, but it doesn't look like that. This one down here. It's not this like bright pink, no. super pigmented color. Like I still love this lipstick, it's amazing. Again, it smells amazing. But I did discover that if I layer this first and then top it with my NYX lip lingerie, I get this lip going on right here, which is actually pretty close it is. to Coco K. So I guess in the long run, I did discover a dupe for it, um, but I was really disappointed in this as a dupe, not disappointed as an actual product. So my super disappointment of this video is this, it's actually the mate to the face wash I was talking about. It's the Garnier Skin Active um, Clay Face Mask. Now it does say cleanser and I probably should have seen that when I bought it, but it was $8.97 and it's supposed to be a dupe for the Origins Charcoal Clay Mask. One of my all time favorite items. The thing about the Origins one is it's like almost a mud oh, okay. and it dries nice. Yeah. This dries, but when you wash it off, it lathers. Oh. So it turns into like a moisturizing product and that's not what I want. So that was a disappointment. Bummer. Um, so yeah, that was just a really quick video on our super dupes and our du disappointments. Yes. Be sure to tune in next time yes. for more. And we will talk about more products. If you have an item that you think we should try, just let us know in the comment section down below. Um, if you liked this video, make sure you like it. And subscribe and comment. Share, because sharing is caring. Um, and be careful with your swatches on your hands, not to get them on your clothes and on your phone, because that's this what is a I PSA. always do. This is a PSA. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers till next time. Cheers. Where's my cup? Oh, there it is. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And it wasn't yours, and I don't know where it's from. It was a black hair. Ew. It's probably from my makeup brushes. <laughs> my makeup drawers, not my underwear drawers. <laughs>